So Carcon Carne is parked. The car isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Welcome to life in the time of COVID-19, life in the time of coronavirus. Uh, I'm James Van Osdell, and we're going to talk all about Irish whiskey. It is St. Patrick's Week, even though it doesn't feel like it at this point anymore. It is still St. Patrick's Week. We're going to talk about that. But first, Carcon Carne is sponsored by CNH Financial Services. Business owners, are you tired of your hard-earned profits going toward paying expensive fees every time your customer pays with a credit or debit card? We're happy to announce our partners at CNH Financial Services have the solution. CNH is the fastest growing financial services company in Illinois, as recognized by Inc. Magazine, and their patented technology allows you to eliminate 100% of the fees associated with accepting credit and debit cards as a form of payment. That's right, 100% of the fees. CNH will also upgrade your business to the industry's leading point of sale system to streamline every aspect of your business for no cost. No cost. Visit freeprocessingnow.com or call 855-600-2437, extension 999, and start saving money today. It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. Jillian Murphy of Tullamore DEW, DE Dubs, are you ready to do this? Absolutely ready. Thank you for having me, despite the madness of the world. The madness of the world. But really, at the end of the day, it all comes back to the need to stay home and drink Irish whiskey, doesn't it? I think so. That's what I, my plan is anyway. That's what I want to do. <laughs> so you are the East Coast, East Coast ambassador of Tullamore? Exactly. East Region Brand Ambassador for Tullamore Dew. So covering all 26 states on the east side of the country. So you're... On a typical week when we're not in coronavirus, you're busy. I'm all over the country, exactly. I'm always on a plane, so this is very unusual for me. I bet. Week. But we're making the most of it. We're having at-home quarantine parties all on our own. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> kind of where we're at. And uh, Gillian Murphy, of course, a great Italian name, which is why you work for the Irish Whiskey Company. <laughs> that's it, yeah. No, I'm from Ireland. I'm from County Cork. So all my family are still there at the moment. And you moved to Chicago a couple of years ago? About five years ago now, yeah. So I'm, you know, Chicago is definitely my second home. Is there stuff about it you just don't like and you wish you were back in Ireland for? There's honestly not. There's a couple of foods that I do miss from time to time, but you can kind of get everything there, you know. There's right. the Irish, there's great Irish bars and restaurants in the city that have the food and I can travel out towards the Irish neighborhoods and get the chocolate that i love so that's kind of it and of course family and friends you're always going to miss but that's natural of course so I, one of the things I, I'm certainly cognizant of, it, it's such a weird time. There are people out of work. Uh, there are restaurants and bars that just are not operational right now. I'm certainly not making light by talking about drinking and St. Patrick's Day, but at the end of the day, we all still need to recreate. We need to check out of the madness around. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to have you here. St. Patrick's Day, as we're recording this, is tomorrow. We're not going anywhere for St. Patrick's Day. We're nope. staying in. So Certainly not. No. Nope. <laughs> but I do think everybody should still celebrate, you know, in, on their own, obviously, while maintaining the quarantine, keeping away. But I think the fact that we live in a social media era does give us the opportunity to still interact with friends and we can still all sit in our own homes and share a dram, enjoy a drink, and not put a dampener totally on the occasion. So you're talking about a virtual cocktail party. I guess I am a house party where everybody's in their own house. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be a first for a lot of us. Well, before you start making cocktails for a virtual party, and I, I really should have a bottle of Tullamore here. I'm sorry. I'm drinking a gin and tonic. I, I forgive my transgression. You have a drink. So, okay. I'm right. glad to see you're being looked after. <laughs> um, give me a little background on Tullamore. This is like 300 years old at this point, right? It's been around since 1829, yeah, so it's got a pretty long history. Um, two things that people are usually surprised by is that right. Tullamore is a town in Ireland. Um, a lot of people don't know that. They think that it's just kind of a random word. Um, and the letter is D-E-W. It's not the dew in the grass in the morning, but the initials of a man, Daniel Edmund Williams. So he joined the distillery when he was 14 years old and put his initials on every single bottle of Tullamore Irish whiskey turning it into Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Um, and by the age of 25, he was distillery manager. So 
it's a long legacy in history we've got. 14 years old in a distillery. I think that was my dream when I was his age. Yeah. We don't hire 14 year olds anymore. I just like to point that out. <laughs> 16 year olds are far more productive. Uh, no, that was a joke. <laughs> so, all right. Tullamore is a combination of three different types of whiskeys, yes? Correct. It's a blend of all three styles of Irish whiskey. So you've got grain whiskey in there, malt whiskey, and pot still whiskey. So grain's gonna make it sweet, the malt is gonna make it fruity, and the pot still is gonna give it a spice. So the end result is it goes down easy. It does. It's got a great balance of flavor. It's triple distilled, so it's very smooth, and it's also triple cast matured. So a lot of depth in there too. All right, St. Patrick's Day. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a virtual party with all my friends. We're going to listen to the Pogues and Dropkick Murphys, and we're going to have a party uh, across different cities and states via the internet. What should we be drinking? What should we, what should we be making, Telemark? Well, I want to focus on some easy at-home cocktails because Good. I'm aware... Because we don't want to go grocery shopping. We don't want to go anywhere near grocery stores right now. Exactly. I definitely don't want to encourage anybody to be running out of the house. So I've got a few simple ideas that I think most people will be able to make with what they have in their kitchen right now. So the first one I'm going to make is called the Irish Teas. So play on the word tea. Um, you're going to have two ounces of Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey in there. Pour it straight into a glass. 1.75 ounces of Irish breakfast tea. So if you don't have this in your cupboard, you can use any regular black tea, like a Lipton or something like that. Obviously, can I, can I use an Earl Grey like, like Picard? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's going to work better with an Irish breakfast tea. That's what the recipe calls for, but it will still be nice and tasty Got it. with an Earl Grey or something like that. Um, then simple syrup, I'm going to go ahead and put 0 0.75 ounces in there. Simple syrup, you may not have in the cupboard, but it's just equal parts sugar and warm water will give you simple syrup. Easy. Easy in there. And then I'm going to put in the juice of half a lemon or 0 0.75 ounces. If you're being exact and measuring it properly. I love those citrus squeezers. Those are the best. Those are game changing. Aren't they? They're so easy and there's no mess with them. So that's it. Give it a whirl. I'm going to have this one um, without any ice. I'm going to have it neat because it's a little bit warm from the tea, which I quite like. It's nice and uh -huh. warm and and it's snowing here in Chicago today, so. Everything's upside down right now, Jillian. Nothing makes um, sense. The country has gone mad, but we're uh -huh. still having fun. We're still all celebrating. Uh-huh. Same Patrick's Day. All right, so I'm going to watch you drink. Well, cheers. Cheers. This is our virtual cocktail party. <laughs> Welcome to the, this is how it's done. I feel safe. I don't feel at risk of infection right now. This is, this is wonderful. Exactly. And a lot of people, you know, they're in their quarantine and their isolation completely alone. So I think it's important that we continue to call our friends, engage them and have these kind of social interactions. Um, there's no need for them to feel lonely. So. Uh, that was my whole reason to start doing this podcast nightly from home. Just we're all stuck at home. Like let's, let's engage. This is, this is all the communication we have, basically. A lot of us who are you know, basically saddled with being inside the house. This is it. Completely, exactly. So we may as well. Um, and if anybody is looking to order some Tullamore Dew to make their at-home cocktails, the online grocery stores are still delivering. Um, I just got word earlier that Drizzly are doing $5 off with the code oh, everyone. Um, Vinny's, Instagram, all those places are still delivering. So you can still get some of the staples in without kind of risking your safety by getting out there and braving the elements. It, it is a wonderful time we live in where you can get Tullamore delivered to your home. I know. It, I'm learning a lot about that this week. Uh, I bet you are. All right, so can you make something else? you have another idea? I can indeed. Let me just dump this in the sink right behind me okay. so I've got a glass ready to go. And we can do a gold rush. So again, okay. two ounces of Tullamore do. This one is very simple. Two ounces of tollen were juice straight into a glass with ice with no ice. I'm rationing on my ice right now, hands wide and I understand. It's going in there. Um, and then I've got honey syrup, which is just kind of the same thing as the simple syrup. So equal parts honey and warm water. Mix it together. That's a it. lot of okay. people have that at home in the house. Do an ounce of that. So we've got two ounces of tollen dew, an ounce of the honey syrup, and again in there with my lemon. And you're getting vitamin C from this too, so we're Of staying. course. This seems like the kind of thing you'd want to have like all winter long. 
Yeah, isn't it? And I guess the weather and everything is kind of making me uh -huh. want these warming, nice cocktails. Well, the honey, just the idea of sipping on that by the fire, that sounds kind of appealing. It is citrus, exactly. And you can have this over as ice, as I said, shake it over ice if you want it super cool and smooth. Yep, and it tastes great. <laughs> All right, I, I have no doubt it tastes good. Um, it, it's kind of a tease watching you make cocktails. I'm sorry, I know. So, as we're drinking, you, making simple recipes with what we have at home, a lot of us are, uh, you know, eating you know, canned rations for the time being. Does whiskey pair with ramen noodles? Does uh, tell them what <laughs> pair with SpaghettiOs or? You know, I think I'm going to be discovering a lot of that for myself over the next couple of weeks because uh -huh. I haven't done that research before. Um, whiskey meat is always a great option. Whiskey on ice, whiskey on the rocks. A lot of people, if you've got apple juice in your fridge, actually, whiskey and apple juice goes phenomenally well together. Um, you can do whiskey, soda water, and a little lemon or lime wedge. Yeah, I think if, you're, if you are venturing to the grocery store or if you're making some online deliveries, definitely get in some fresh citrus, and that yeah. kind of opens up what you can do across the board. Well, for parents stuck at home with kids, you know, all the kids are out of school. That's a great idea with the apple juice. It's like one for you, one for me. One for you because the kids <laughs> always want apple juice. Exactly, and the kids won't know what you're up to, which is great. Exactly. you, you got to take the edge off somehow, right, Jillian? I mean, this is... It's serious times, exactly. So we do have to remain positive. I'm agreeing with you on that one. So as far as being the ambassador for Tullamore, is this an example of uh, do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life? Is this kind of your gig? Oh, it 100% is, yeah. So my day-to-day -day life is just in and out of bars, kind of engaging with the trade, buying drinks for consumers. And it's a great position to be in. You tend to be everybody's best friend when you walk right. into the bar and they see you coming. Um, so it certainly never, ever feels like work. And um, especially these three months, the January to March kind of period of our year in the lead up to St. Patrick's Day are just manic. And it's amazing to get around to all the different parts of the country and have friends in different bars across the world. It's amazing. It's great. Now, as someone from Ireland who's witnessed Chicago St. Patrick's Day, do you walk around the bars and think, maybe you're going at this too hard. Maybe you should pull it back a little bit. Um, I think that's the case for St. Patrick's Day celebrations across the world. Um, yeah. I think you see a bit of that everywhere. So I don't think Chicago is unique in that aspect. But while you do see some people who party a little bit too hard and to the extreme, there's the majority of people who don't and they do it sensibly and they have a great time. And St. Patrick's Day to me is all about the camaraderie. It's about the coming together, the listening to live music, the watching the Irish dancing, sharing a dram with your friends. And that's, it's just a time for celebration. It's got a great feeling behind right. it. So tomorrow, I'll be listening to the Tossers, Chicago Irish Band. Be drinking some Tullamore, celebrating. Uh, thank you for, for sharing this information. I like the idea of just whipping up simple but elegant things with the stuff we have in our cupboard. And yeah. you know, the notion, simple syrup, we can all make that. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. and it's kind of something which frightens people, the word simple syrup and these cocktail terms. Yes. Do a little bit of research online. We've got tons of recipes on tullamoredew.com and you can see really how easy these things are. You don't need shakers and jiggers and bar spoons. You can do it with what you have, a bottle of whiskey and some fresh, some fresh citrus. Love it. Uh, Jillian, thank you for, I was going to say, thank you for taking the time tonight, but really we're all at home. We got nothing to do. <laughs> I'm delighted that you wanted to talk to me. <laughs> well, happy St. Patty's Day. And uh, thank you for, uh, for sharing and, and spreading the, the, the good word of Tullamore. Thank you very much for having me. All right.